Good morning. This is Agashvani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Siantan. President Draupadi Mumu has emphasized on working towards research and innovation using available resources for sustainable development. She said it is a big challenge to develop the economy by creating employment opportunities, keeping in mind the local needs. The president was addressing the 11th convocation ceremony of Hemwati Nandan Bahuguna Karwal University in Uttarakhand yesterday. Murmur stressed on making education accessible to every person and the need to work for the betterment of the society. The president called upon his students to stay connected to their roots and help backward people in the society by adopting moral values. Union Minister of State for Education Anpurna Devi Yadav said the central and state governments are working in tandem for the overall development of Nagaland to fulfill the people's aspirations by providing centrally sponsored schemes and special packages for the state. Addressing media persons in Kohima after visiting Zeminu district yesterday, the Union Minister said North Eastern states have been given full and equal importance by the Modi government which has enabled the region to progress in education, sports and other fields. She mentioned that national highway connectivity is extending international corridors along with the railway lines now reaching the state capital. Expressing satisfaction over the progress of developmental schemes in the state, Yadav said it is not only the general population but youths and women coming to the forefront. The centre has prioritised education by introducing many flagship programmes like Samakra Shiksha Mission, PM Bushan, for providing cooked food to school children and PM Usha to improve higher education, she said, adding that these schemes are also materialising in Nagaland. The minister said the National Education Policy 2020 will significantly improve the education system by providing avenues such as vocational education from class 6 onwards, medium of instruction in Indian languages or mother tongue and academic bank of credit among others. While grievances have been received, Yadav said concerns raised on the new education policy will be addressed at a state level to suit the needs of the people and students. Nerhema and Zeminu celebrated the Golden Jubilee of their Peace Treaty yesterday at Chubobozo, giving a brief history of the ancestral governance between Nerhema and Zeminu, Souvenir Committee convener. Gekwangne Kend said, while the villagers originated from two brothers, various incidents during the headhunting period led to enmity between them. However, with the arrival of Christianity, the ancestral brotherhood between the two villagers was undertaken and a governing monolith was installed at Nerhema in 1973 and Zeminu in 1975, the Nona Janerian said. Vice Principal of Northeast Institute of Social Science and Research, Father Lawrence King, said Nerhema Zeminu Peace Treaty is not just an inscription on stones but is sealed with the government of God and must be sustained. He said the celebration should not just be coming together of people but involve the two villages working for peace and progress. Thousands of people from both the villages attended the program. Highlights of the day included Friendship Hour, during which individuals from a village befriended another from the other village. As per customary practices, these individuals who befriended each other form a close bond which is carried forward by their descendants as well. The National Investigation Agency yesterday conducted multi-location searches across 10 states and union territories in the country and arrested 44 persons in connection with four human trafficking cases registered by it. The searches were carried out in close coordination with the Border Security Force and State Police Forces at 55 locations across the states of Tripura, Assam, West Bengal, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Haryana, Rajasthan and Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Puducherry. The agency recovered various items of significance, including digital devices, Atar cards and PAN cards, suspected to be forged, and foreign currency. The operation is aimed at dismantling illegal human trafficking 
support networks involved in infiltration and settlement of illegal migrants across the Indo-Bangladesh border into India. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.